Hi everyone, so today is uh, Tuesday, April 6th, and I am six days out from my balloon procedure, which was on uh, Thursday, March 31st. Um, so I just wanted to give you an update. I pretty much thought I was doing pretty good, um, but when I went in for my visit today, they told me that I was dehydrated and that I needed to get some IV fluids. I had been feeling a little weak, um, but you know, I was just kind of managing through it and, uh, you know, thought I was doing okay. But really, I was only getting about 20 ounces of water in per day when it should have been more like 60 to 80. And I was only getting about 20 grams of protein in a day, and that should have been between 50 and 75 grams per day. Um, it really is kind of difficult to get those fluids down when you don't feel hungry and you feel full. Um, so, and also I really wasn't taking in any calories or carbs. I was basically doing like a no carb, no calorie protein, protein drink. Um, so I'm gonna try to improve on those things. Um, I did start a new shake yesterday. It's called Premier Protein, and it's a lot uh, easier to get down than the Isopure protein drinks that I was drinking. Um, the Premier Protein has 160 calories. I believe it has five carbs, and um, it's like an 11 ounce drink, so it's pretty manageable to get down. Um, tomorrow is going to be day seven, so I'm going to start a soft diet, and that can be things like uh, low-fat cottage cheese, yogurt, um, they do say that you can have like flaky fish, um, ground beef or ground turkey, um, tuna, string cheese, stuff like that, um, but I'm going to start out pretty slow. Um, as far as the balloon, I can still feel it. Um, I just feel like I have this fullness, heaviness, kind of right here. <laughs> um, it's always kind of there, and I just, I don't feel hungry at all. Um... When I sleep, I've mostly been sleeping on my left side. It feels most comfortable. I can lay on my back, but I, I do kind of feel that heaviness still. And then the same with when I sleep on my right side. Um, it's, it's not uncomfortable. It's just that I can feel it. So I think that's a good thing. Um, so I'm sure you all are wondering if I have lost any weight. Um, I didn't really want to weigh myself at home because I wanted to go off of the scale at the doctor's office to make sure that it was going to be accurate. Um, I could tell um, that some of my clothes were fitting differently. They weren't necessarily loose, but they just looked different and felt a little bit different on me. And I could see it in my face and just... Um, kind of in my legs as well. Um, so I was really hoping for five pounds. Um, but today when I got on the scale at the doctor's office, I was 10 pounds down from just, uh, from my last, um, I guess it was my pre-op visit. Um, so I was pretty happy with that. I couldn't really believe it. Um, I know... In the beginning, some of it is water weight, um, but it's still really inspirational, and I'm just ready to get going and start eating healthy and making a lifestyle change. Um, I'm really looking forward to eating like some salmon with asparagus or tilapia with broccoli, or I found a really good recipe for turkey, um, spinach, feta, burger, um, so I, I'm just, uh, it's kind of weird because even though I haven't been eating every night, I'm on Pinterest looking at, uh, 
healthy recipes to make. So I'm pretty pleased with everything, the way how the procedure went, um, how it went afterwards. Um, I probably should have checked in with my doctor a little bit earlier than today just to kind of let them know how I was feeling. Um, but I mean, I really was trying to get as much fluid in as I could. It's, it's just difficult. Even though I wasn't nauseous or vomiting, it just, that sense of fullness, it just makes it hard to, to get it down. Um, so that's about it for now. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, thank you to everybody for your support and comments. Um, if you want to, if you're not already following me, you can subscribe. I'm going to try to make a video, um, at least once per week. It may slow down because I don't really see that I'll have too much to report on, but I will try to at least do a weight update every week. Um, so I guess that's it for now. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.